Hi, and welcome back to my channel. I thought I'd come out and show you what I got from the Dollar Tree. There's going to be some Christmas items and some other items. But before I get started, I wanted to see how's everybody's day been going. See, over here, I believe it's like 11.20 or 11.21 at night. But I do like filming at night. But uh, I'm going to get started and showing you. The items I got, I got this little nutcracker here, which is super adorable. He's so cute. I love these little nutcrackers. They are so cute. So I got that. And they had um, different kinds, but I got this one. And then, I got this little thing here. I thought I'd use this to put my beauty blenders in because it's just like a holiday little thing just to put, you know, I thought that would be really cute. Because I am decorating my room up for the holidays. I put the little Christmas tree up that I have already and lights up and I'm just getting so excited to decorate. But I thought this would look really cute with the beauty blenders in there. And then I got this little ornament here. It's Christmas house. And I thought I put this up somewhere in my room. I don't know where I'm going to put it up yet, but this is really pretty. So, this is going to be going up. It's very beautiful. And then... I got this ornament, which is very pretty that I can't wait to put up in my room as well. So, And then the other thing I got is this little thing. It is a decorative clip and it's pine decorative. And this is so cute. And it looks like that. So I got that. And then I got this, which is so pretty. This is really super pretty. And it is a potted poncera. Very, very pretty. I thought maybe I could clip this somehow on here but I'm gonna I'm gonna see where I'm gonna put this at still I don't know but I'm gonna put this somewhere in my room and it's really pretty and then I got these they have gnomes on them, and these are so cute. It's the um, tinsel garland, and it is nine feet, and they have, like, little gnomes on there. So I'm going to be putting this in my room. I don't know where I'm going to put it at yet. i got to figure out where I'm going to put all this at. 
Once I have it decorated, I will do another like beauty room, room tour to show you how I put all my Christmas decorations in my room. But these are super pretty. I can't wait to decorate for Christmas. I really love Christmas a lot. And then I got this. It's a sparkle and shine Christmas time. This is super cute. I thought I'd put this in my room somewhere. But it is so pretty. I love the, like, the little glitter, the red and green. It's just so... I mean, I love finding Christmas items, getting, I mean... Buying them, especially at the Dollar Tree, they have such pretty stuff, especially in the Dollar Tree Plus aisle. I mean, they have such beautiful things, but I really like that. Got that. And then, let's see. I got this. For my aunt to put in her um, sock. It's a hot cocoa. Nestle. Um, says classic rich milk chocolate. Um, we do like, like stocking stuffers. And this year um, we pick names in the family. And I got my aunt. So I thought this would be really neat to put in her sock. I'm getting some more things for her to fill her sock up. And then the other things of the Christmas, I, is I got this little candy cane. I thought this was super cute to put in my room. This is just super, super cute. Just love that. And then I got this little. It is just. These are so cute to put up in the room. So I can't wait, like I said. Just loving everything. And then. I have these um, LED lights. They're 10 count. And um, white LED lights. It says 2 AA batteries that it needs. So I can't wait to put this in my room as well. And these are really, really pretty. So, just can't wait to put that in there. And then, the other thing I got is this um, little star to put on my little tree that I have. I, like I said, I already put the tree up and everything and it has lights. The lights I put on it um, were the curtain lights. Um, they had Christmas curtain lights on the Dollar Tree Plus aisle, and the Christmas tree looks so pretty with the curtain lights on there. I mean, I think it looks really nice, and it's really bright, and I just like it a lot. This, I'm going to have to buy another star, because this is supposed to light up, and it's not wanting to light up, so I'm going to have to get another, try to get another one. That's what it looks like. And then the last thing for the Christmas items are this little thing. It's a DIY ornament kit. 
and you can make um it says fight kit That's a, and it's like you can make um santa claus and i thought these were really cute to just um make and hang them up these would be really really cute But they look like that. Really pretty. And I think that is it for the Christmas items. So the other things are just that I um I picked up this. It says intentions and reflections. It's a guided journal for positivity. And these were up in the front when you're going to go like cash out. So these are neat because it has just different things in there. It says what acknowledgments can you give yourself? And then which... Thoughts have dominated your mind the most. What are your intentions for this journaling session? And then it has, um, think back to any goal you set for yourself during the course of the year. Take a moment to reflect on how you did with each of them. This is how did you do with this goal? And it just has different, um, Things. What obstacles or challenges did you face with these goals? And it just has different things on there. That... And then this one, it says, write your own story, a guided journal to find your own voice. And this has, um, like, a little thing that brought joy today. What did I do for my recovery today? Today's highlight, today's low moment. And it just has different um, things. It just says the same little things over. But I thought these were really neat. It says, let your life story unfold. So note your favorite moments, track your personal growth, reflect on what makes you unique, keep a beautiful keepsake of your ongoing story. So, right there. And then the back here, it says your life can be whatever you want it to be. And it says, you are in charge. Let this book serve as a style guide for that life. One that you desire according to your desires and value. Oh. Got them. And then... I got these um, stickers. They're foil. And they say magical time. Unicorn so believe. It says so believe. Sweet. Super cute. Magic and awesome. So I really like them. Stickers. So I got them. And then... I got this one. It says, Love, Believe, Shine, Big Smile, Dream. And they're foil. And I love finding stickers because I need to, um, I kind of put journaling. I haven't journaled for a while, so I want to get back to, to it. And these stickers are really neat. And then I got these ones, which... There are pretty little flowers, the orange, the blue. I love how colorful it is. Got them. And then I got this. 
Um, they're stencils. And they have the A, B, C, and then they have the number, the numbers on there. So, got that. And then, um, the makeup thing, this is LA Colors, and it says Bold Plump Lashes, and, um, it says Lash Defining Brush. Vegan friendly and it cru cruelty free. I can't, i not really good at saying that word. <laughs> but this is very black mascara and I like alley colors. So I got that. And then. I got this. It's an eyeshadow switching sponge by Sassy and Cheek. And it says eyeshadow switching sponge change eyeshadow colors instantly. So I'm going to open this up and see. I um This is like I said, I love finding new to do with makeup or anything. I just like that. It looks like that. It's like a little sponge. But um, let's see. It says directions. Gently glide your eyeshadow brush over the black sponge in circular motion to remove color. And then move on to your next shade. So, um, it's like cleaning your eyeshadow brush almost, where it says eyeshadow switching sponge. Change eyeshadow color instantly. So, this is going to be, I'm really going to like using this. So, um, if I use one of my, like, eyeshadow brushes like that, I can just... Use a sponge and then I don't have to worry. My brush will be clean so I could use the other color. So this is really neat. Got that. And then. Like for makeup and all that. I love finding makeup. And this is light medium. This is by. Be Pure. It's Hydrating Serum Foundation. And I like because it's light medium. And um, I can't wait to use this. <laughs> Directions. For best results, use finger tips or wet sponge to gently tap foundation into skin and blend from the center of your face outwards. So... I'm going to open this up. Like I said, I love finding, I mean, going to the, like, where the makeup section is and finding new makeup. It just, I love it. And then I like that it's light and medium. So... It looks like that. Oh, boy. <laughs> it's coming out a lot. <laughs> but it looks like that. Oh, it's going to work good. colored in blended really good so I can't wait to use this I'm gonna put that over there where my foundation is I am going to get one of these so I can clean
the foundation off my hand. And then the last thing I got is a hard candy. Um, corrects mild redness and it's yellow and it's color correct bake powder from hard candy and um it says target your main skin concerns even out your complexion using the hard candy color correct bake powder it says this matte lightweight and easy to use powder can be applied before or after your foundation to achieve a flawless finish available in four shades green corrects intense redness yellow corrects mild redness lavender corrects dullness and swollenness for medium to dark skin tones and pink corrects dullness and sallowness for fair to light skin tones so you can't wait to use this I said I love using this um, this green right here I use that for like the red because I know I have uh, some red spots on my face and I really like using that so I'm gonna try to use this because the way it says um, that it helps corrects my old redness so I'm gonna see how that works and I love hard candy products so can't wait to use that and I believe that is it um the last thing I'm gonna show I'm gonna show this because I've been wanting to put this up in my room already. Um, I got this from the Dollar Tree Plus section. It's a Christmas flame lantern. And it looks like this. It is so pretty. It's $5. And I'm going... Okay, it looks like that, and then when you okay, I hope it didn't turn. It's supposed to light up, but I don't know if it stood on or what happened. Oh, it does not have batteries in it. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> It carries C batteries, so I'm going to have to get some, but it does um, light up. It's really pretty when it um, lights up. It lights up like that, so I will have to be getting um, three C batteries for this. So I can't wait to put this in my room. This is so pretty. I got that. And that's the last thing. That's That one was from the Dollar Tree Plus, $5. Like I said, the Dollar Tree Plus has such cute items, especially now for Christmas. I love their items. But I'm going to go for now um, because I'm going to go to sleep because I got to get up at 5 in the morning to get my daughter for school 
and everything. So I'm going to go. Before I go, thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing um, to my channel. And another thing, I know I haven't been posting on um, that Love Makeup 1975. I am going to start putting um, things up. Uh, the new makeup that I bought, I'm going to take pictures and post it on my Instagram because I know I haven't posted anything on that Love Makeup 1975, my second Instagram account. I, I, um, it's been a long, I think it's been a while since I haven't posted anything on there. So I'm going to start taking more pictures and putting it on there and, um, hopefully sometime this week I can do the um like what's in my juicy couture uh makeup bag i can do that as well hopefully i don't know when i'll be doing that video but um i'm gonna go take care if it's nighttime good night if it's morning good morning um and have a awesome night awesome day bye